that bitter cold not letting up at all. More winter weather is on the way. You're looking uh, at some snowy conditions in Minneapolis just moments ago. And take a look at this picture from our weather team. This is a fountain in New York City almost completely frozen over. It actually looks completely frozen over. It is frozen. It does look a little beautiful, but rather it is beautiful be inside. From, than, yes, watching it from here. From, from our purview, <laughs> exactly. We are going to begin this morning with that deadly freeze that's gripping so much of the country. A state of emergency, record cold and snow making holiday travel a danger for millions as calls for help to AAA soar. And ABC's Alex Perez is in Erie, Pennsylvania, where the National Guard has now been called in to help residents dig out from under nearly six feet of snow. Good morning to you, Alex. Hey, good morning, Paula. When you get that much snow, you run out of places to put it all. This is what a lot of neighborhoods here in Erie still look like right now. Officials dealing with mounds of snow that are actually turned out to be cars buried in. Owners of these cars just can't get to them. From roads to runways, winter weather wreaking havoc all over the United States. In Kansas City, more than 40 accidents due to icy roads. Icy conditions also turning runways into rinks. In Michigan City, Indiana, a plane skidding off the runway. The same thing happening in Pittsburgh. Bitter temperatures and record snowfall crippling the Great Lakes. Erie, Pennsylvania, brought to a halt this week, buried under more than 65 inches of snow. Even this snowplow got stuck. Today we'll be out probably 10, 15 hours easily. We've been out since 2 in the morning. The city now bracing itself for another 10 inches of snow Friday into Saturday. Oswego County also bearing the brunt of the deep freeze, now under a state of emergency. We've really gotten hit this year. And in New York City, the bitter cold turning this fountain into an ice sculpture. The record chill brought Arctic-like scenes to parts of Wisconsin, the Coast Guard breaking up ice in Green Bay. And just to give you an idea of how much snow we are actually talking about here, Erie gets about 100 inches of snow all winter. So far, they've gotten 102 inches just in December alone. Paula? Jaw dropping numbers, 102 inches alone in December. All right, Alex, um, we're going to send you some shovels and some hot chocolate.